Sports. Welcome back to CTV Morning Live. You're looking at some great shots of uh, cyclists here in our community. The bike pass that we have, the commuter lanes as well, and it's definitely being recognized here amongst the country. We've gotten uh, top honours, in fact. And joining us to talk about this program uh, and what's happening right here in the City of Ottawa, we have Ottawa City Councillor David Chernyshenko. Great to have you here. And also joining us, the Share the Road Cycling Coalition CEO and founder, Eleanor McMahon. Great to have you here. Nice to see you. Congratulations. This is, uh, this is big news. And it was it a, a big award ceremony that happened. We're thrilled. Um, and congratulations to Councillor Chernyshenko and to you. I mean, I lived in Ottawa for many years. And one of the things that set Ottawa apart is the quality of life that citizens enjoy here. And part of that is a bike friendly and a walk friendly city mm -hmm. and people value that studies around the world have shown that indeed uh, Councillor Chernochenko can tell you he did an excellent film on cycling globally and w what sets apart cities that attract high quality jobs high quality life is that people want that kind of atmosphere and you guys have it and I think that's worth celebrating what what happened in terms of giving us that distinction because we sat you know uh, we, we were towards the top but something has really put us now to be recognized as one of the top cities well again C Councillor Chernochenko Janko can fill in the blanks, but I think certainly from our reviewers' perspective, our expert panel said, you know, what distinguishes a gold bicycle-friendly community is one where people say, I want to ride there all the time. I go to Ottawa, I want to bring my bike. I'm on vacation, or I can do the Bixie bike or rent a bike. And certainly we're at the AMO conference, the Association of Municipalities of Ontario. We did a bike tour on Sunday mm -hmm. with municipal leaders across the province. And to a person, they were absolutely overwhelmed. And while they've been here, they've been renting bikes and riding around and so impressed with what Ottawa has done. There it's has inspiring. Been, and there has been a lot of work, and we've seen that in terms of also educating the citizens of the city as to how to ride, where to go. We have the new green, uh, you know, the laneways. Um, was this something that you intended, that this, the projects and what you've done is, is right on track? The city's had a cycling plan since long before I was elected to office three years ago. I'm just so passionate about it that I've perhaps tried to give it an extra push, but, but so has Mayor Watson. You know, this council has spent by far the most money uh, and given the most focus on cycling uh, compared to any previous council. Um, so it isn't really so much about one big hit, mm -hmm. you know. Of course, the Laurier segregated lane is something new and very obvious. It's about plugging away at that plan. It's about saying, here's where we want to be in 30 years, here's where we are now, we got to silver, we got to gold. I think the best illustration is, is more a story. Um, I used to pull up at lights on my bike and not have any other cyclists in sight. Now it's typical there's five or six with me. When I ride home along Colonel by Drive on the path, I have to check over my shoulder before I pass someone because a faster moving cyclist might be passing me. I have to signal on my bike to other cyclists that I'm leaving the bike path because there's now that many. 50 tourists, you know, going by me in a stream uh, taking a tour on a bike yesterday. And I thought, that's a lot of food and beverages that someone's about to sell to right. those 50 people when they finish their <laughs> ride. I, well, and you know what I, I love, and I love even going down Colonel by either with the, I'm running or I'm driving and to yes. see people using these lanes. I mean, it's such a beautiful city to experience, especially too if you could do it on, on a bicycle. Are we, are, is it a safe city? I mean, there, you talking about going mm. from one cyclist to now having five or six of you on an interning lane, are we able to contend with hopefully uh, even more cyclists yep. riding around. Well, safe is always subjective. I mean, is it safe to drive? Is it safe to walk? Is it safe to live? Someone will have an accident and tragically someone will get killed. Of all dark ironies, two women have been killed in my ward in the last year on bikes. That doesn't mean cycling is an unsafe activity. It mm -hmm. does mean cyclists need more education. Cyclists have to take into their hands safer riding behavior. Uh, it means drivers need the education of how to behave around bicycles. It means, it means we have to keep building infrastructure to yeah. attract more people out. The biggest obstacle is the perception of safety. Mm -hmm. All the people who say, so I would ride my bike, but mm -hmm. we can throw all the statistics we want at them showing that it's less safe to do all sorts of things <laughs> that they don't think yeah. about. It's true. But we find that infrastructure, visible things like their own lane, a colored bike box mm -hmm. to stop in, uh, their own sign or light for when to turn or when to go. That gives a signal to cyclists, you belong here Absolutely. and we care about yeah. you. And it gives a signal to drivers, cyclists have a right to be here, watch out for them. And, you know, as we know, it's yeah. not an us versus them, it's everybody making this safer together. 
And we like to embrace everyone, I think, our city and how beautiful it is and how uh, it's, it's enabled all of us to live the lives that we want to and, and, trans and get ourselves to, to A from A and B that way. ShareTheRoad.ca is the website you want to be able to check out, www.sharetheroad.ca. Congratulations to our city Thank and uh, it's a wonderful program that you have. Thanks, Thanks so much. Thanks.